Anna Delvey, the fake socialite turned scammer, has seemingly dropped Anna Sorokin for good after her time in prison. She has big plans for her future and is keeping herself busy in New York, even under house arrest. The plan is, of course, to reinvent Anna Delvey, and there's a whole lot to the story. After having served three years of her jail sentence, Anna was released on good behavior, and she has taken complete advantage of the opportunity to have a sense of freedom once again. Anna says, I feel like a completely different person. I regret a lot of the choices I've made, but I don't get the option to go back and change it. And it looks like she's determined to prove to the world that she has changed. But the problem is that she first has to get through ICE. Anna was actually arrested once again, just six weeks after her release, by the US immigration agents for overstaying her visa. Her short-lived freedom has unfortunately been threatened by deportation back to Germany. Anna and her team are of course doing everything in their power to keep this from happening because of everything that she hopes to accomplish in the US. Anna could very well accept the deportation and genuinely be free back in Europe, but according to her, she loves New York way too much to leave. And she has big plans for her life in the States, even if it's a bit hard to make said plans with the threat of deportation hanging over her head. But she is, as of October 2022, out on bail, living under house arrest in her Manhattan apartment, so things could definitely be worse. Although her one complaint about the ankle bracelet seems to be her limited shoe choices. I was trying to get those Givenchy she over the knee boots. That was a no-go because of this bracelet. So for Anna, things could certainly also be better. Fashion obstacles aside, living with the ankle monitor hasn't hindered Anna's plans as much as one might think. Anna is regularly hosting parties in her apartment. She has guests over for anything from wine tastings to actual parties. And she actually recently had her 32nd birthday party at her apartment, which was attended by a lot of people. It was an invite-only event with a champagne toast and an entire curated menu for the guests to really make the party a high-luxury event. Anna mentioned that she had had trouble celebrating her birthday last year because she actually caught COVID and had just been released from ICE custody. So this year, she she had to go all out to make up for lost time. The people who showed up were some of Anna's closest friends, as well as some of New York's most glamorous socialites that were curious enough to join. As it turns out, these guests even had to sign an NDA to attend, and there was even a question about their social security numbers. Of course, most either left the blank space or wrote a fake number, since you can't be too careful around Anna Delvey. But guests had an amazing time at the party, no matter what. According to one guest, the whole thing felt magical and intimate, and it turned into a really good night. Another guest revealed that the line for the party was all the way down the street. Anna even had to hire door security to make sure there was order, and that only those that were invited could get in. The whole thing turned into an exclusive gimmick, and that's what made attending the most fun for the guests. Parties aren't everything, though. Anna is well aware that if she wishes to get her redemption and prove to the world that she's a more serious person now, she has to do more than entertain those who are clearly just there to see what she up to. This is why she has some big business plans for the future. One of those plans is a whole new social media platform. Not her own, of course, but one called Passes, a sort of blend between platforms like Patreon and OnlyFans social media platforms, specially made for creators. We're not talking about full body shots here, but it's more related to day-to-day -day life content creation. At least that's what Anna plans to use it for. The decision is based on the fact that she's been banned from her social media following her house arrest. This means she has to find another way of sharing her story privately, and she has found Passes to be the perfect platform. It's going to be a subscription-based service with a price ranging between $10 and $99. US The account has already been made under her alias Anna Delvey, so it looks like her life as Anna Sorokin is over, and this new chapter of reinventing who Anna Delvey is will most likely greatly benefit from what she has planned. Anna says she'll be posting vlog-like diary entries and even phone calls for one-time payments. She explains, People are curious about my life. Not everybody gets to go to jail as much as me, I guess. She most wants to share her story on her own terms while also being able to make some money off of it to fund her new lifestyle. She says, I'm trying to make my story be, oh, I made a mistake, but I'm trying to turn this around without trying to glamorize the mistake itself. But Anna also makes sure to mention that it's not only going to be behind the scenes, wardrobe, sneak peeks and interviews, but it's also going to be the less glamorous parts of her new life. Anna has already revealed that a lot of what we've seen from her new apartment isn't even owned by her. The expensive art on 
on her wall is $8,000 a piece, borrowed from a New York gallery, and even the $2,500 sculpture atop her stove is on loan. And if you couldn't tell, there's not a lot of furniture in the apartment either. Even her books are sitting on the floor. Home decor isn't exactly her priority at the moment. Despite her difficult situation, Anna hopes to move back to One Hudson Yards, the luxury apartment building she lived for six weeks back in 2021, before all of her plans were spoiled. She's planning on making it happen with a concept she has for a celebrity dinner series that will involve charities benefiting prison reform. She highlights that rent will be a line item for the production company. It has already been announced that it's going to be titled Delvey's Dinner Club, where she will host an invitation-only dinner each week, where there is no topic off-limits, including Anna's own experience with the criminal justice system. For her, it's mostly a chance to reclaim the narrative after inventing Anna aired on Netflix and distorted the actual story. On the side, Anna also has some art projects in mind. She has been making art to sell while under house arrest. Her pieces start at $250, and originals can even go for as much as $10,000 to $15,000. Anna has even planned a private party in Miami, the house arrest party party for art collectors, where she showcased her very own originals, of course, available for purchase. One of her pieces, Prowling in Prada, had been sold for $15,000 before the art show was even opened. But this art show isn't her first time doing such an event. In May last year, she held an art exhibit titled Allegedly in New York, of course, named after how almost every accusation against her was alleged. At this show, a lot of her supporters showed up and even people who full-on defended her actions. At the art show, Anna hoped to sell around 48% of her collection, which was priced at an estimated $400,000 to $500,000. How much Anna made on this art show was never really revealed, but it wasn't addressed if any of the money she owed people would be returned either. As it turns out, after the show, Casey Duke, Anna's former personal trainer, and Rachel Deloche Williams had still not been paid back what she owed. While Anna has been making a surprise amount of money off her art collection, there's also been more going on behind the scenes. As we all know, Anna sold the rights to her story to Netflix, which birthed Inventing Anna. The show was a huge success and it even held the number one spot on the platform and was even nominated at the Emmy Awards. Anna was paid $320,000 for the rights, but all the money was used on her lawyers and the extra fees that came from her committed crimes. And Anna wasn't particularly fond of watching the Netflix-made documentary either. The decision on her part was more of a necessary evil, but she also had a similarly themed project planned for the future. Anna has a docu-series in the works with Bun in Murray productions. It's going to be all about her plans and her life after prison, and it seems like something she might be more excited about than the Netflix series. The director, Michael Driscoll, has said that they've been working on the project for months now, and have spent countless hours on the phone and on video calls with Anna to get her true and honest story. Michael views Anna as a very complicated and fascinating character, and he's very excited to work with her on the next chapter of her ever-evolving tale. The series will focus on what makes Anna tick, and will most likely get even more of an insight into how she lives her day and how she plans out her big dreams for the future. So, how do you think Anna is dealing with her life after prison? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.